going on everybody um just going to pretty much put a nightcap on tonight's program we were unfortunately disconnected um for some reason here looks like um maybe perhaps some buffering so again you know we're just going to you know put a you know we're going to close off the show if you're watching and awesome if not then you know you're not really missing much except to sign off uh, once again, I'm Aaron James. That was the Shark City podcast for uh, September 9th, 2022. The whole entire podcast is dedicated to reacting to the Sharks New Jersey release. Uh, a lot of rants in there, but that's because I'm super excited. I really am. Um, not so much about the direction um, or the design, pardon me, but more so about the direction, that being... The Sharks are, you know, they're trying to do something new. They're trying to rejuvenate the fan, um, you know, the fan interest. And they're trying to make these Sharks um, look like, you know, like look more unique, look more current, um, look like a Sharks that are swimming into the future versus swimming back to the past. So I can kind of respect that. I'll be honest. Anyways, um, if you didn't hear this nightcap, don't worry about it. I'll plug them all together. Uh, in the podcast version, thank you to everybody who was watching um, previously and to anyone that's uh, catching the tail end of this uh, after we got disconnected. So with that being said, I am Aaron James. You've been listening to the Shark City Podcast. Everybody have a great weekend, and I can't wait to talk to you um, in the near future, especially when the season begins. All right. My name is Aaron James, and for reals now, I am going to end the season. Excuse me, the season. We're going to end the show and, you know, just pretty much saying like we do all season let's go sharks before i do go though quick shout out to the facebook comment of we needed a change absolutely agree with you 100 percent. we needed a change and we got it we got the change in the front office with the gm we got the change on the bench with the new boss that being david quinn Partners with Mike Greer, the new GM. Um, you know, in the past, I think we mentioned about who would be the new captain. Never met immediately, never met the season, but obviously when you have change, like eventually, you know, naturally that would happen. Even, you know, at one point, Patrick Marlowe, the greatest Sharks of all time, had the C stripped from him. Same thing happened to Joe Thornton. For one, for for one season, for some reason, Rob Blake, one of like the greatest all time LA Kings, uh, one of our greatest rivalries, a captain of our greatest rivalries, was given the C. I don't know what McCollum was thinking. Anyways, um, but yeah, definitely cannot wait for the season uh, to begin. And um, yeah, we were probably disconnected. Some some of us may have been disconnected from the previous, um, you know, the previous program that's my bad new season you know still trying to get all these um things squared away here and speaking of new season this is shark city's fourth year so thank you to the almost 1300 followers on facebook the 500 plus on instagram and almost you know 8 850 and climbing on twitter um, thank you for all your support thank you for sticking by shark city hockey and uh, thank you for, you know, sharing and liking our content. Um, cannot say that. Um, um, I don't think I can say that enough. Appreciate all you out there. And really um, excited about the community we're building. Uh, so with that being said, the official sign-off is going to happen now. Uh, combined with the last episode, we're almost going into a whole regulation, a hockey game. Um, you know, when, when you're excited and passionate about something, sometimes that's how it goes. I'm Aaron James. You can check out this episode in its entirety uninterrupted on sharkcityhockey.com um there again you could find our 24 7 music stream we're rocking sharks territory 24 7 we've been doing it for almost four years now and um you know check out shark city tv when you know you're deciding to flip your channel and you can't find something we always got something for you all right again thank you to everybody who has rejoined after we abruptly we're disconnected and thank you to everyone who is you know commenting on facebook instagram twitch youtube um th thank you to everybody all right i'm aaron james i'm about to um you know enjoy the rest of this friday evening 
Maybe we'll get together again. Um, I'm I'm live I'm loving the jerseys, loving the direction. Um, excuse me, I'm loving the direction that the jerseys represent. A little bit on the fence about the overall design. A little busy. Kind of works, kind of doesn't. Depends on which threads you're looking at. The whites definitely are an A plus. The teal uh, needs work. Uh, so with that being said, I wonder what the next alternate jersey is going to be. Like, are they going to do like the black armor? What What's that version going to be? Will Will they ever do an all dark? Or are they going to bring back a gray with these stripes? I mean, the Barracuda have the gray. Are they going to try to make up for the epic fell of the reverse retro? That's my opinion. I know some of y'all love it out there. I love the idea of the gray, but the black sleeves didn't work. That's just my opinion. Uh, it needed more till. And uh, I don't care if you throw the old school logo on that jersey. It ain't going to save it. All right. Enough of that jersey. We'll end it with this one. Big shout out again to my uh, followers on Instagram and to those who, uh, you know, directly messaged me these pictures last night. A uh, big shout out. Please like the content and follow their pages on Instagram at 408 jerseys and at aggressive shark. Mike and Tyler, y'all the best. I wish you nothing but, um, you know, good times and great vibes while watching the sounds of sharks games. All right, that's it. Check out again, this episode in its entirety uninterrupted on sharkcityhockey.com. I'm Aaron James. Y'all have a great weekend.